He's still guilty. Not guilty. Number three? That's good. Guilty. Oh, number four. Number four? Big hit. Guilty. Of course he's guilty. Number five? Not guilty. That's good. Number six? Not guilty. That's good. Number seven? He's smoking the split like a bad man. Right. I mean like a bad, not, not a bad good. man, like a good man. Number nine. Not guilty. Number ten. Guilty. Now, of course you are. Number eleven. I've seen him in a movie. What movie was he on? Not guilty. Good. Number guilty. twelve. Number twelve. Guilty. He's a big friend. vote is now six to six. The facts are supposed to determine the case. Don't give me that. I'm sick and tired of facts. You can twist them any way you like. You know what I mean? That's exactly the point this gentleman has been making. Oh. I mean, you keep shouting at the top of your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be a few years younger. It's gonna rain. Well, how'd you figure that out, Killer? <laughs> how come you change your vote? They should be out there by the windows taking in the rain. They're flipping sweating. They let business before when that tall guy, what's his name, was trying to bait me. And that doesn't prove anything. I'm a pretty excitable person. I mean, where does he come off from? I mean, a public avenger, sadist and everything. I mean, anyone in the right mind would grow a stack. Hmm? He was just trying to bait me. He did an excellent job. <laughs> It's too easy to also, but he keeps it real. I think we go on the bus. I'd like to ask you a personal question. Go ahead. Where were you last night? I was home. How about the night before that? Come on, what is this? No, that's all right. I left the office at 8.30 and went straight home <laughs> and to bed. The night before that. <laughs> that old man was, pisses uh, me off. Tuesday night? <laughs> the night of... Mrs. Uh, Bainbridge, the remarkable Mrs. Bainbridge. I saw that. It's called The Amazing Mrs. Bainbridge. Uh, yes, The Amazing Mrs. Bainbridge. I think that's right. Who was in The Amazing Mrs. Bainbridge? Barbara Long, I think it was. A dark, very pretty girl. Lynn or Long, something like that. Who else? I'd never heard of him before. It's a very inexpensive second feature with uh, unknown. And you weren't under an emotional stress, were you? Ah, uh, look at that. <laughs> I wasn't. This guy's actually thinking about stabbing him. What's the problem? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. no. Nobody's hurt. <laughs> right? This guy's a maniac. Right, How do you know? Were you in the room when the father was killed? No. Neither was anybody else. And what are you giving us all this mumbo jumbo for? I don't believe it. I don't think you can determine what type of wound the boy might or might not have made since he knew how to handle it. Is that old guy starting to get persuaded now? The one that's looking in like that? I changed my vote to not guilty. You what? You heard me. I, I thought there was going to be a showdown between him and the guy. No, no the good guy. If you want to vote not guilty, then do it because you are convinced the man is not guilty and not because you've had enough. And if you think he is guilty, then vote that way. Or don't you have the guts to do what you think is right? Now listen. Guilty or not guilty? I told you. Not guilty. Why? Look, I don't have to... You do have to. Say it. Why? I don't uh, think he's guilty. Hey. Who's that? Oh, the big friend. Um, nine. Ooh! Um, all those voting guilty? Right hand. One, two, three. Well, votes nine From to three. Twelve to three. <clears throat> they get drunk. All oh, their real big drinkers, all of them. You know that. And bang, someone's lying in the gutter. Well, nobody's blaming them for it. That's the way they are. By nature. You know what I mean? Violent. Where are you going? Human life don't mean as much to them as it does to us. Look. They're mushing it up and fighting all the time, and if somebody gets killed, so somebody gets killed, they don't care. Oh, sure, there's some good, good things isolated. about it, too. Look. 
Oh, this scene is What's powerful. Going on here? Uh, I'm trying to tell you. This scene is You're powerful. A big mistake, you people. This kid is a liar. I know it. I know all about them. Pay no mind to evil. This scene is powerful. Listen to me. Uh, oh this, shit! That guy's been um his, his type. Well, well, converted you know as well. Seven o'clock would be a reasonable time. And uh, the reason I asked about that was because uh, you were up your nose like oh. I'm sorry for interrupting, but you made a gesture that reminded me of something. I'm trying to settle something here, do you mind? But I think this is important. <laughs> Thank you. Now then, this guy is funny. I'm sure you'll pardon me for this, but I was wondering why you rub your nose like that. Oh, come on, will you? At this point, I happen to be talking to the gentleman sitting next to you. The woman who testified that she saw the killing and those same marks on the sides of her nose. Just give me a minute. This woman was about, uh, about 45 years old. She's making a tremendous effort to look 35. Oh, mistaken or identity. Public appearance. How do you know whether she wore glasses? Just because she was rubbing her nose? Now she had those marks. I saw them. Already she's coming on the stand. What do you think that means? Listen, I'm getting so sick of your yelling. Be deceptive. Hey, look. You think he's guilty? I think he's guilty. He's paralyzed by the truth. I'm convinced. Not guilty. What's the matter with you? I have a reasonable doubt now. Eleven to one. But what about all the other Wow, evidence? the tables turn from 11 to 1 for yes. Now 11 to 1 to no. We could try all the other I'm telling you, I've got all the facts here. Here. Uh-huh. Well? Say something! They're amazed by your ignorance. Oh, I can you. Rotten kids, you work your life out. Oh. Okay, I see where his anger's coming from now. So killing that boy must be him. Like killing that boy for him is like killing his son. Well, to, in a way, he's taking out his anger. It helps him to take out his anger on his son because he can't physically do it to his. Ah, not guilty. He can't physically do it to his son. That's so. Good. Pretty much he's taking out the anger on, on this boy because of his son, what his son's doing to him. I don't know why it took me so hard to articulate what I was trying to say. We're ready now. I'll be honest, at first I was not feeling this at all. Um, I love the fact that, you know what, I'll get to that later. Basically, that was amazing and that shows, hopefully that should give hope to filmmakers. Especially me, because I don't want to be a filmmaker. That should give hope to us filmmakers that you do not need a big budget to produce a classic. That there shows you how important dialogue is and storytelling. But let me tell you something right about now. If your storytelling is as good as that, and you based your movie in one location, because I think those, well, there's technically in, during the whole movie, there's only three locations: the courtroom, that room, and then outside. If you base your, all you independent filmmakers out there, you base, you got your dialogue, you got your story, bro, you got your script, your dialogue is amazing, you don't have no money, don't worry. All you need, bro, you don't even need money, bro. You don't really need, all you need, work on your script, bro. Work on your script. I'm giving you advice as if I'm a wallet acclaimed filmmaker. Hell no, bro. I'm not, I'm, I wanna be a filmmaker as well. This just gave me hope that, this just gave me, more confirmation that I don't need a big budget to make a film. All I need to do is concentrate on my script, make sure the dialogue is amazing, and I'm sorted. Because yo, that just shows you how powerful storytelling is. Honestly, bro. Bro, trust me, that was amazing. I, at first, I wasn't feeling it at all, but then the more I was watching, I was like, yo, this is, this is really good. That was amazing. It was so... There was so much deep messages in there. That obviously you lot heard. I'm not gonna go through all of it because this is gonna be a, kind of a long reaction. But yeah, I'm not gonna go through all of it. But you lot, you lot, you lot heard my reaction. You lot heard, saw my reaction to the deep messages that was being portrayed. 
did a really they did a really good job conveying emotions as well during that bro. That was amazing. That was amazing. I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting that. I give that 3.75 out of 5. That was good. That was good. That was really good. I'm actually that was bro, that was really good. That was really good, man. Alright, bye.